Lisa. Good morning again. Well, I'm here to say that we are finishing the school food clinic that was uh, charged that was given to us um, by Dr. Fitzgerald and filtered down through all the school systems here in the state of Georgia. Uh, we were fortunate, and I do appreciate again the city and the county boards working with us so closely, and I look forward to doing this again this year for the upcoming time of flu shots for the school. And I won't say shot, I'll just say flu vaccine, because if they come in the mist, I think we'll get a flood, which is good. Um, one of the things that I did want to emphasize is I thought the collaboration with the support of the principals, encouraging the teachers to make sure that the students receive the letters. Um, there's one point of that structure where it's out of our control. Once it gets into the child's hand, then it has to get home. But I thought that was really great that you're willing to allow the um, telephone messaging to go out to the schools to say this, uh, to the um, children's home to say, you have a note in your child's you know, backpack, please check for it. One of the things that I, I learned from this experience, you know, when you have your own child in the school system, you know that letter is coming home. And um, my son is in that middle, middle school grade. So I knew what really happened. So I looked for the letter for about a week. <laughs> the letter didn't appear. So I happened to ask my son, I said, um, did you happen to get anything um, from the school? And he says, what do you mean, Mama? I said, well, some kind of letter. Uh, what kind of letter? I said, a letter that said possibly shot. Yes, I got that, Mama, but I left it in my book bag. So I went to this book bag, and there was this letter. So I said, um, son, did you know I sent you that letter? No, ma'am, you didn't send that letter. Somebody named Lisa Thomas did. I guess if it had said sincerely your mama, you would have brought it on home to me. So the moral to the story is when they get into the school and they make a conscientious decision, it ain't coming home. I don't care who sent it to them. Your mama can send it to but they will not bring it to you. 